All right, welcome to uh, Cold Waters, playing with the uh, Playable Subs mod. Uh, I'm thinking of doing um, a couple of videos uh, uh, overviewing uh, most of the submarines that you can play as in the mod. Um, starting with the November class. Uh, this uh, I'm not going to talk too much about the uh, submarine in the real world. I'm going to try to focus on um, how it's represented in the game or the mod. Um, how it is to play with, uh, to play with, uh, to play as, uh, etc. But we can do some um, basic history. The November class was the first um, Soviet nuclear submarine, and the, it was taken into service about three and a half, uh, three and a half years or so after um, after the first uh, American nuclear submarine. So. In the 1968 campaign in the game, uh, the November class is uh, quite outdated compared to the uh, newer American uh, nuclear submarines. Um, but it's it's not too bad. Um, I'd say one thing about the model, though. Um, this model has this sonar array in this sail as well as the sonar array above the torpedo tubes and it also have this uh, has this um, uh, balcony uh, this bulge where it, uh, there's also a sonar now the only uh, uh, November class that I'm aware of that had the uh, uh, sonar array on in the sail was the first uh, November class uh, the K3 uh, which was um, not actually the production model uh, which is shown here, uh, which placed the sonar in the bow uh, above the torpedoes and in this uh, balcony, as I said, uh, on the keel. So we shouldn't have this uh, sonar array on the, the sail as well, but it's a minor, minor thing. Uh, so let's take a look at the statistics, the game stuff. Um, it can do 28 knots which um, is pretty all right compared to the American submarines. I think the uh, Skipjack is the only American sub that is faster. Um, it has a test depth of a thousand fifty feet and I'm going to show you that you can go way deeper than that uh, without imploding. Uh, you can carry two different types of torpedoes. The Set 65 the 5365M, uh, and we'll get into uh, uh, get into some information about those once we get into the game. Um, the noise rating, uh, 156 decibel, is quite noisy compared to uh, uh, the NATO submarines, uh, but you have to take into account that this uh, in this campaign, 1968, this is uh, basically almost uh, 10 years old <coughs> the November class so uh, but enough of that let's uh, jump into the game or the combat uh, that's fine let's just uh, jump straight into it I'm going to try to stay well we had a contact bearing 8-8 eight, eight. So uh, I guess we can start he <coughs> heading that way. So here we are. This is the November class, a very sleek looking, almost torpedo-like design. Um, seems like uh, quite a few, quite a lot of people don't like it, think it's ugly, but I actually think it looks pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I, I like it. It's uh, very early. Uh, late 50s design which uh, you can tell I don't know we can kind of tell it by the look of the stern I'm not sure how <laughs> how I'm gonna put that into words but I don't know it looks old but it's uh, yeah, pretty cool so let's take a look at the weapons um, as I said, two different torpedoes, uh, the Z-65, 
which is the uh, uh, really heavyweight torpedo. These uh, torpedoes are uh, were designed and are meant to uh, be used against uh, large uh, American ships like carriers specifically. Uh, they pack a real punch. Uh, they have about uh, close to a thousand pounds or so uh, explosives in the warhead. Uh, and in the game they are one shot one kill against most things. Uh, I think uh, carriers are the only thing, perhaps uh, the odd battleship if you encounter that, that could take a couple of hits but other, th um, other than those uh, there's there's really nothing that can stand up to the the, <coughs> the force of these torpedoes. Now in reality this is a uh, wake homing torpedo uh, it doesn't really work that way in the game in the game you can set it to passive or active uh, it can snake and you can put it on circle search uh, one thing though about the set 65 is that you can only make it go up towards the surface or down deeper you, you can't you can't have it go basically at the the depth that you fire it from um, or you can for a while but then it will start going up or uh, going deeper um, and this is also the set 65 is also the only torpedo you have that can uh, engage uh, enemy submarines except for if the enemy submarine is close to the surface because the 5365M torpedo can only be set to go uh, up towards the surface um, so it's it's meant to be used as uh, or against surface ships but I never take the 5365M uh, because the set 65 uh, it can do the job better than the 5365M and it can engage submarines. Now the 5365M is a, a bit f faster. Uh, it can do a max speed of 44 knots against the 40 knots of the Z65. Uh, the Z65 has a range of 17,500 yards. Uh, the seeker range 880 yards, which isn't too. Uh, it isn't all that good. Um, compared to the 5365M, a uh, seeker range of 2,000 yards and a range of 24,000 yards at 40 knots. So the 5365 is, um, is better in some regards but uh, it has a smaller warhead as well so I usually only take the Z65. Uh, I don't see any point in taking the, the smaller 5365. Uh, uh, so that's that. No wire guidance. Um, you can't wire guide any of these torpedoes. Um, and in standard Soviet fashion, you have eight torpedo tubes, which is uh, it's usually two more than uh, any of the American submarines. So you can fire uh, quite a big spread of these uh, Z-65s. So the submarine is is made for attacking surface ships, uh, convoys specifically. Uh, even in real life it was never really meant to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with uh, with uh, other hunter-killer submarines. Um, so with the uh, firing a spread of four or eight of these torpedoes you can uh, definitely annihilate uh, any surface ships in the area. Uh, surface ships won't be able to outrun the torpedoes um, and they have quite a long range as well um, so yeah I think that's it for the weapons um, oh yeah the uh, test depth of the November class is uh, I think a thousand fifty feet um, but you can go way way deeper than that uh, you can safely go down to 1500 feet and I'm going to show you that uh, you could even go a bit deeper 1550 feet we can do that oops here we go 
Um, you don't want to go too close to 1600 feet. That's when um, the absolute maximum depth uh, you can go. The the uh, I think between 1600 and six to 1610 is where the uh, the November class will implode because of the water pressure. Um, I am um, uh, now I'm going to 1550 feet with uh, no damage to the submarine, no hole breach. Um, so I don't know. I have it's kind of hard to test uh, going deep with damage, actual damage on the sub. So you prob probably cannot go to 1550 feet, or you shouldn't try with a damaged uh, submarine. But with 100% um, hull uh, integrity. Uh, there's no problem going down this deep, um, so we can get we can go down quite um, quite deeper than the test depth, uh, but try to stay away. <laughs> try to stay out of uh, 1,600 feet. That's uh, that's in the the real danger zone. Uh, other than that, the November class in the game is, you can build up uh, speed pretty well. Doesn't take uh, um, all that long to uh, get up to max speed, the max speed of 28 knots. There's uh, even some modern uh, submarines who are slower to build up to max speed than the November class. Um, in reality, the November class actually had two nuclear reactors which uh, combined could put out about uh, 35,000 horsepower which was way way more than any uh, American submarine at the time and even a couple of years after I believe and uh, even in uh, even in 1960 when the November class was in uh, in service the Western powers uh, we're pretty uh, pretty sure the Soviets did not have the capabilities of building a nuclear submarine, and uh, it was even more conceiv inconceivable that the Soviets could build a submarine with two nuclear reactors. So they were taken by surprise by the November class. Uh, it was faster than they uh, had anticipated as, as well. So it did have an effect on uh, the design of uh, later uh, U.S. Uh, nuclear submarines. Um, the sonar isn't all that good, um, as in real life. Um, the NATO submarines have better sonar, so we have to be pretty close uh, to be able to hear a target. Uh, so, I played, uh, I have logged quite a few hours in the November playing the 1968 campaign. And in my experience, you usually get um, counter detected before uh, uh, you, you even know something's out there. Um, so, I'm not being detected now because we are probably quite far away from the enemy submarine. Um, but yeah, you, you you're quite noisy compared to I know the, I guess the uh, uh, how should I put it the um, the signal strength ratio or or whatever you want to call it between the 156 decibel uh, sound of from the November and coupled with or compared with the better NATO sonars uh, will make it very hard for you to sneak up on anything um, but you do have you can go quite fast uh, so you will be able to defeat torpedoes uh, there's actually the American 30 mark 37 which is like the standard torpedo in the 1968 campaign oh zero one one is cavitating Okay, so we will um, keep an eye on him. Um, 
yeah the mark 37 torpedo is a very small torpedo does not have a large warhead um, it can do a max speed of 26 knots so you can outrun it uh, doing 28 knots um, so they're not really a big threat at all uh, and you can survive more than one hit from a mark 37 Probably not at, at um, this depth, but you, uh, from my experience, you definitely can uh, survive uh, at least one hit. Now, as for the airdropped uh, torpedoes and torpedoes from um, uh, from 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 American or NATO surface ships, uh, you have the RUR-5 missile. That's the Mark 46 lightweight torpedo. Well, the, the max speed of the torpedo is not 900 knots, but the uh, the Mark 46 that might be a bit uh, a bigger threat than the any tor torpedoes from uh, enemy submarines. So you have to keep that in mind. Uh, but the I'd say the biggest strength of the November class is. Uh, the speed and that it can build up speed quite quickly um, and of course also the eight torpedo tubes uh, when you're attacking uh, convoys you'll run out of torpedoes pretty quickly though but uh, you can definitely definitely sink a lot of ships if um, you use them in a in a good manner or how I should say that. Um, so let's actually come up, let's go a bit shallower, see if we can uh, reacquire Sierra 1 and get into combat. Uh, so yeah, the only, as I said, uh, I mentioned the the only American sub which is faster is the Skipjack, 30 knots. Uh, but I, have, I, I, I don't really. The skipjack isn't much of a threat in my experience. Um, I think that the the other the sturgeon and um, the what it's called, the permit, uh, are are bigger threats in my experience. The skipjack is uh, it's quite loud uh, compared to the other ones. Um, and it's also quite small, so I think the biggest, um, I think that goes for any submarine in the 1968 campaign, that the biggest um, threat is not enemy submarines, it's uh, surface ships, airdrop torpedoes, um, that's the biggest threat. And the November can uh, fare very well against uh, any NATO submarines. Uh, I think the B British uh, submarines, they have the, uh, da, 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 da. let's take a look, I can actually not see all the, the British submarine, it seems like there was only the modern submarines, but we can take a look at the Oberon, it says here you can fire the Mark 48, so, but it's um, the British, uh, Torpedoes, the spearfish, and the tigerfish. I think the spearfish might be the only one that's available in 1968. I'm not too sure, but I think that's uh, yeah, I think that's uh, that's correct. I, I don't, I'm not sure, but uh, but usually torpedoes. Oh, here we go. So let's actually take a look. We are. Well, according to this, we are within 5,000 yards, and we're uh, showing up quite a strong contact showing up. Looks like it could be a permit, so let's call it that. So, it seems like submarines, uh, also in my experience, and uh, this kind of also shows that, is that once, uh, once they're in within 5,000 yards is where you uh, we're is when you can hear them except for when they're cavitating of course but 
so we have to be pretty close so let's see if he is going to detect me a sure sign of that is when he uh, sends out a an active ping and as you can see he's up he's up close to the surface so the enemy subs are going to have a real hard time trying to defeat the set 65s because they're so fast uh, so he's not gonna have a good day gonna wait until my solution is a bit better I'm not gonna fire fire at him and see since he's uh, Mark 37s are wire guided, uh, he's gonna lose the wires uh, real quickly. Uh, oh, there he is. Yeah, he's, uh, he's doing the cavitate and. Uh, okay, let's uh, fire on him. There we go. Two torpedoes away. There's no chance in hell he's gonna survive this. So we'll go. Um, flank speed and we'll go down to 1500 feet to avoid his uh, counter fire uh, so this uh, I could also show you a bit how how maneuverable it is as you can see it's building uh, up speed quite uh, quite rapidly compared to other submarines uh, that is So we are not going to have to worry about the Mark 37 torpedoes. Can re reload the tubes. Oh, I'm sniffling. It's the uh, allergies. And there goes my torpedoes. They're going. Uh, well, they're not going active, but they start. They are start. They start. Are, God damn! I can't talk. Uh, they are starting to look for a target. That's uh, what I was trying to say. Uh, so, let's take a look. Yeah, he is. Uh, he's gonna be toast. There's no way in hell he's gonna defeat these torpedoes here's the tiny mark 37 which is really really tiny compared to the uh, the set 65 here we go boom dead 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 so there you go oh he's actually not dead wow that's surprising that's really surprising. I don't think I've ever seen a, a submarine survive a, a hit from a set 65. That's actually the first time. So I guess it's not a one shot kill then, but it usually is, at least against surface ships, smaller sh surface ships like merchants, um, destroyers, frigates. But it's usually a one shot kill against submarines, but I guess uh, the game showed me wrong there. Uh, but this is the first time I've ever seen a sub survive a hit from this uh, this type of torpedo. But he is in um, he is in uh, bad shape now. He probably can't do full speed. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, let's actually uh, maneuver the November class. Um, so we're doing 28 knots, so we can do uh, some turns. Uh, as you can see, it's, it turns quite rapidly. Uh, feels pretty good to uh, maneuver. It's not sluggish, it's uh, quite responsive. And we can also, I guess, uh, See how fast it can um, change depth. So um, it's pretty fast compared to the, uh, or considering the 
that it's the no I should say compared to uh, other submarines of this era uh, so even though this is uh, in 1968 this is uh, the November class is basically almost 10 years old you can still uh, you can still uh, go toe-to-toe -to -toe with uh, most of the NATO submarines at least in the game it's a bit noisy but and the sonar is uh, not as good as the enemy sonar but overall it's not a bad it's not a bad submarine at all uh, it's uh, enjoyable to play as um Yes, we can also make a fast dive. We're just gonna wait until the sturgeon, was it? Or the permit uh, meets his end. So, yeah, I don't know how much uh, else there is to uh, say about the November. Uh, but as I said, it's uh, it's an en enjoyable sub. It's not bad at all. Uh, there are definitely worse submarines you can play as in the 1968 campaign. Uh, so it has uh, definitely served me well during the hours that I've um, been playing with it. Man, that sounds really, really weird to say. Uh, but anyways. Uh, have my torpedo, has it lost its target? I don't know. Looks like it might be circle searching. Okay, so um, let's um, remedy that and let's uh, shoot out a an active torpedo uh, and a passive. Okay, so he might not be out of the. Out of danger yet. Kind of looks like the torpedo is circle searching though. Hmm. We do not have. Let's turn around. See if we can acquire him. He's still putting down uh, noisemakers, countermeasures. Uh, I can see the bearing he's at. Seems like... Oh, there we go. Okay, so it wasn't... Uh, my torpedo wasn't circle searching. Uh, so there he goes. I'm actually surprised that he uh, uh, survived that uh, the first torpedo. Why can't I select him? Well, whatever. Um, that was probably the first time I've ever seen a submarine survive a hit from the Z-65, but. I'd say nine out of ten times it's a one sh one hit one or one shot one kill weapon uh, especially uh, going up against the uh, surface ships did he actually hit the bottom oh huh. and he didn't implode Sturgeon, Sturgeon, test depth 1320 feet, okay, so he can actually go quite, quite, um, 
deeper than the November class. But yeah, I guess um, that's it for the the overview of the November class. Uh, as I've mentioned, it's, uh, it's a pretty good submarine. It's not bad at all. Uh, probably quite bad if you play it in the uh, 1984 campaign, but in the 1968 campaign, it's uh, it's a pretty good submarine, uh, and I've had a lot of fun with it. So um, I'll end the video here. So thank you very much for watching, and I will. Uh, keep doing these videos. I think next time I'm gonna do one of the uh, uh, 1968 uh, American subs. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this and I hope to see you in the next video.